Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars. How are you? Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Well, this week the sun is in the dreamy sign of Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Pisces, little mermaids and dolphins of the zodiac. We love you. You are the Einsteins, the Mother Teresas of the zodiac, and we love you because of your big heart and your genius. The moon this week will travel in the signs of Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. And on Tuesday, we have uh, some kind of worrying, kind of beautiful full moon in nitty gritty Virgo, opposing the sun in Pisces, making us a bit with a tendency to worry. You want to worry? Well, make it positive. See everything with the glass full mentality, not the half glass empty, all right? And your song this week, everybody, and for me and you, don't worry, be happy, don't worry, be happy. Yes, because worry is simply a misuse of imagination, which is the juice of God, by the way. Sunday, the sun in Pisces will meet up with one of its ruler, dreamy Neptune, doubling the Pisces creative energies like the arts, music, healing, poetry, intuition, and spirituality. So if you're a healer, you're in the spiritual world, a counselor, an astrologer, a psychic, if you're an artist, you will do amazing work this week. And if you're a painter or a you do sculpturing, wow, you could create a masterpiece. A good time also to really dream big, dream impossible, infinite possibilities. But do keep your feet firm in the ground. See things the way they are. And also, this week is a good time to face our fears. Try something this week. Once a day, do one thing you're scared of. You're gonna see, after seven days, it could change your whole paradigm. A good time also to meditate, to heal, for spiritual seminars, for embarking in a new healthy lifestyle, to lose weight or heal some addictions that you've had for a long time. Finally, this week, you could really get a good start at that and really get rid of it once and for all and be free, free for yourself and the people you love. So let me start with you, Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You have a good year this year. The full moon in your relationship sector brings popularity and a strong desire to succeed. You want it. Are you working on a special project now? Do you have dreams to fulfill? Make your strategies, your plans right now. But now, for the next week or so, keep your cards close to your chest. You attract also allies, inspiration, and applause from many people around you, so make sure to take care of your responsibility and look the part. The more daring you are, my beautiful Pisces, the better the success. On the weekend, you receive a love surprise. Cancers, Virgo, also give you good advice. Aha, I'm a Cancer, that's me. Your magical color, yellow. Lucky numbers, 742. Aries, the full moon in your work sector puts you in a very good mood. You feel romantic and you feel up and about. You have the drive to make things happen and you do. Even challenges motivate you. It is a very good time for you to take action and make your strategies in a special project or some things dealing maybe with home repair, real estate, buying, selling stuff, very good this week. And I'm telling you, in love, in friendship with family, ask and you shall receive. It's very important this week. I ask and you shall receive in your professional life and your personal life. On the weekend, loving words await. So just take it all in and say, hmm, thank you, I deserve it. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers one and 13. Taurus, make a fresh start. You're in a transiting place right now, crossing a bridge, let go of the status quo. Whatever happened in the last three weeks, it was all for the better good of you. The full moon in your creative sector helps you get your message and ideas across and get new ideas, especially in career. A good time to really get things done around the house, at work, and also legally. You have something to fight for legally? Very good. Success 
is yours. Just go and grab it and make a fresh start. Clean up and also make room for the new. If you're stuck in some situation that you should not be in or with people you should not be with, just say goodbye. I love you. I kiss you. See you. On the weekend, pamper yourself. Love yourself. You're doing good. Your magical color, turquoise, lucky number 6 and 30. Gemini's. The full moon in your home sector brings like a feeling of closeness with your family, with loved ones, and you feel more peace, less, more like this, a little bit more a beginning of more stability. The focus is definitely on family, spiritual beliefs, and new knowledge that could help you really make some important decisions in personal life and also in career. People give you a helping hand, and guess what? Some doors open up for you, especially if you have good intentions, in career good time to share your feelings and send all your loving emails your text messages it makes people so feel good and special and also on the weekend get ready for a very happy surprise one word or the other you'll go like oh wow for me i love it hey it's your turn to receive right your magical color yellow lucky number seven and 27 cancers that's me the full moon in your communication sector makes you very popular very smart focus determined to succeed you're not taking no for an answer i like that in career go with the flow time is on your side something is mingling behind the scenes in your favor unexpected events will work in some fabulous miraculous way you'll see your creativity is extremely high and you know what you want you know how to get it and you will end of story so just look the part look fabulous and uh, just be confident and just show up everywhere you go that's all you need to do on the weekend say yes to tender tender moments leo the full moon in your financial sector brings hope for the future a good time to complete a project find a new job a new contract pitch your ideas helping other people is very rewarding as well if you are, are are you in good shape if you are that's good because people are checking you out now so make sure that you are the best you could be physically dress up the part and morally and physically do what it takes to be the best you can be in career and finances be bold do take a risk positive outcomes are sure and certain to happen on the weekend bring music and laughter and closeness everywhere you go people think you are terrific you just inspire people cancer and sagittarius show they care your magical color gold lucky numbers 9 and 36 you should play a lottery virgo the full moon in your sign brings you high energy and good fortune Stress and dependence, do things your way. A good time also to create, research, and explore your infinite possibilities. Whatever happens, it's all for the better good. So just take it in. Get ready also for breakthroughs in joint enterprise. Investigate every detail carefully before committing to anything long-term. Career in love, friendship. In love, it's all brand new and quite exciting, especially on the weekend. Ta-da, we gotta show up there. Don't stay home. Your magical color, yellow, lucky numbers 1, 21. Libra, the full moon in your spiritual sector brings more peace of mind, especially in family matters, relationships, things with children. You may need to use the law to fight some cases, but at the end of the day, if you follow your heart and you protect the people you love, you will succeed greatly. In career, what you felt lately, that's what you psychically felt, will turn out to be right on the money. Hey, you are psychic this week. Some people could also push your buttons a little bit, so be patient and very understanding. Work with people, don't go against them, because if you do that, it will be a happy ending for everyone, including you. On the weekend, enjoy a good book, a good movie, go out to a spa, or enjoy some wine and food. I mean, just for yourself. Gemini's, Cancer's, and Sagittarius really care. Your magical color is white, lucky numbers 2 and 28. Scorpio, Scorpio, the full moon in your social sector brings you insight and new knowledge about your career plans and health. You're making some decisions lately and you're doing good. Getting in touch with people you care about is very important in personal and professional life. People can do things for you now. It's very rewarding also to give. You shall receive in return. 
Whatever you do, do it very gently, very subtly and unconditional and you will love the results. In love, ask questions, you will get answers and a sincere feedback. In career finances, in try and be generous. It's a way to really give as much as you can from the heart, no string attached, and it will, it will be very satisfying. Cancer spices are definitely on your side, and on the weekend, hugs, kisses, smiles, await. Take it all in, you deserve it. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, three and 36. Sagittarius, you feel terrific. The full moon in your career sector brings all kind of new ideas, big dreams and hopes, and you go like, wow, things are doing, uh, moving too quickly. So whatever, if you are going to some changes, let the universe show you how. In love, follow your heart, don't follow your head. Stay grounded and see the good side of the, of the, you know, the full glass of the thing. Some people are not perfect, nobody is, and not even you, but guess what? Focus on the perfect of everybody and you're gonna get the perfect of everybody, okay? Especially if you're not in love. You could miss the boat if you don't. If you are an artist, you will do extremely well and you could be offered something new. It's a good time also to tear down, to let go of the past, get rid of what doesn't work for you and ask for a raise maybe, a promotion. I mean, this is the time to really shake things up, to move in another direction. Now the weekend, you realize how blessed you are Yes, you are. You are the luckiest son of the zodiac. Your magical color is Christian, lucky numbers 424. Capricorn. The full moon in your spiritual sector brings more positive thinking and changes. Let go of the conventional way of doing things. Time to get a new perspective, experiment, and take risks, especially in career and also in love. In love, be nice and generous. Are you also happy? Are you happy with your life? If not, well, do something about it. Move on, reinvent yourself. Come on, it's never too late to be happy. On the weekend, puzzle pieces fall into place in a relationship, and it feels good. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers five and 23. Aquarius, this is a wonderful time for sharing. Yes, open up your heart and do things for people. The full moon in your shared resources sector brings action green lights and career, more money coming in, and the focus is on kindness, forgiveness, making other people happy. If you have something to give, give it. Remember, everything we give is to ourselves anyway. And anything we don't give is to ourselves too. Mm, what's the deal here? A domestic situation works out in your favor at the end of the week and you, you get a very exciting news about a work project or some investment you've made. Take care of your health. That's the important thing. This year ahead will be busy and you will do a lot, so you're gonna be in shape. On the weekend, a little meditation, yoga, spa, getting a massage, all good for you. Your magical color, purple, lucky number six and 33, ta -da! And now, here's your wizard affirmation of this fabulous week. Well, it's like, don't worry, be happy, look at the glass, half full. Treat yourself the way you want other people to treat you. Mmm, that's a good one. Love, honor, forgive yourself, and you will be loved, honored, and respected by others. That's simple. Love you and kiss you. Don't worry. Be happy.